Hi, in this video, I would like to show you how you can generate custom documents uh, in Word or PDF format based on uh, form responses using Typeform. So here I have a sample form uh, in Typeform platform with like four questions. Uh, what I would like to do that every time a user is filling this form, uh, and submit the results, I will receive a document using the data that is coming from this from these answers on these questions. So yeah, that's how my form is look like. Uh, and yeah, so to achieve that, I will use two extra tools. One will be Zapier. Zapier is a platform for automating the processes across different applications. And I will use Documentero, sorry, Documentero application, which is responsible for generating documents based on the templates. It supports PDF files or docx files, which is a Word format. So to generate document based on this sample uh, form from type form, I will create a zap in Zapier and first I will start doing this defining the trigger. So the trigger will be type form. Mm. Event is a new entry. Triggers when a form is submitted. I click continue. I need to connect my type form account with Zapier. I already did that before the video, so it's done here. And I need to select my form. As you can see, my form is, is kind of named my type form. Uh, yeah, this is the same name that you can find here. So yeah, I'm selecting this one and moving on. So our trigger is all set. I'm just, yeah, I'm just verifying if everything is correct. I can I can see some sample responses and I can move on. Next step is defining the action. So action is how we generate the, the document itself. So for generating document, I will use document error app. So here I have two events. One event is generate document and second event is generate document and send us email attachment. So to make it easier, I will select the second option. Obviously you can select also first option if you would like to uh, upload the document after generation to Google Drive or do something else with it. But for now, let's just generate the document and send it as email attachment as it will be easier for us. Okay, I click continue. And in the next step, I need to connect a Zapier account with my Documentero account. I already created an account on Documentero platform, but I still need to connect it. So if I click the sign in, it will ask me for API key. And API key I can find in my account settings. So here, if I click on the, my login, your account, uh, on this account page in general settings, I can copy the API key. So I will copy, I will close this page, go back here and paste it here into this model. Yes, continue. So right now Zapier and Typeform is uh, connected. Uh, so both accounts can talk to each other. So we'll move on. And now we need to configure the action. So. First question is what output format you would expect. So we have two options here, Word document or PDF document. I will select the PDF document right now. I will provide my email just to test it out. Uh, email subject, new entry in type form. Uh, email message I can skip and the last one but the most important field I would say is document template so 
we need to decide which document template will use to fill in the data from the form. So first of all, we need to create a document template in Documentera. So to do that, I will go to the platform. As you can see, I don't have any templates yet, uh, but I can create them by uploading in Word format, or I can create the template online clicking on this button. So I will use this option as it's a little bit easier. So I click create template and I can see initial sample document to start to work on. Uh, I will simplify it a little bit. So I will remove the later part. So here we have a, a sample form response. Let me change the title of the document. Uh, as you can see in the document, we have like one, two, three, four fields in curly brackets. So in these areas, we will inject the data from the form. Uh, I think just for sake of the test, I think we, we are good here. As you can see, those fields could be repeated in different places of the document. I think we, we are ready to save this. So sample form response. Let's save the document template like this in the document title. Okay, after a while, once the document is saved and processed, uh, four fields are detected in the document template. And I think we are good here. We can go back to Zapier. And here I'm clicking Refresh Fields. I can select my document template that I just created. And once I select the document template, uh, all the fields detected in the document, uh, dynamic fields detected in the document are visible here. So I can map the responses from type form to the document template that I just created. So this is pretty straightforward as the name of the uh, each, uh, as the fields in the document kind of reflects the questions in the type form uh, entry. So I will just map it. So hello, what's your name will be mapped into the name field in the document. Where we come from, country will be mapped to country field and so on. Mm. <clears throat> Yeah, one more field is, uh, okay, this one, how old are you? So yeah, I, I, I guess I configured it. So all the fields that I'm interested from the form are mapped to the fields, the document template, so I can continue. I will test this action. And after a while, I should receive uh, the test document on my inbox. Okay, so as you can see, I received the email with test data. Uh, so my PDF is filled in with some test data from the form. Uh, so I guess in the meantime, I just published the zap. So I can just close it and we can test if the whole flow is working. So to test it out, I will go to type form, uh, get the link for my form. Open this in separate window and I will fill in all the steps.
uh, I'll submit the form and I'm expecting that within one minute uh, Zapier will detect the form submission in type form, generate document using Documentero and send it on my email uh, with the document as attachment. So let's check it out if it's really happening. Oh, I see that it just arrived. So yeah, as you can see, I received PDF file with the data that user provided in the form. I think high level, that's it. Uh, obviously there is more advanced features uh, and mappings, but the baseline is simple as this. So that would be it. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment sections. I'm here to help and good luck. Automate everything. Thank you.